Hi, my name is Ronan Kennedy and I'm a career coach and business mentor. I think generally speaking, it doesn't really make too much sense to make career decisions based on macroeconomic conditions. In other words, what the economy is doing as a whole, uh, what industries are doing really well and what type of companies are really successful at the moment. I know there is a tendency to do it and um, people might give you advice if you're starting off your career, they might say things like, oh, the pharmaceutical industries are doing really well at the moment, or tech is doing really well, or finance is doing really well, or construction or whatever it might be. Um, and I think you can um, take a bit of that advice, uh, it might be fine, it might be interesting to get some insights from other people, but also really consider that while certain industries might do well at a certain point, they might go down at another point, and really what you need to identify is what are you trying to solve by thinking in that way? Are you looking for stability? Are you looking for something that's interesting for you? Because if you're looking for stability or if you're looking for certainty in your future, you really need to consider from different perspectives, like the skills you have, your ability to adapt to the market, to different conditions, the, your ability to use your transferable skills successfully. Now, if you're looking for uh, your your interest, it makes absolutely no sense to talk about macroeconomic uh, situations like what industries are doing well or how the economy is doing in general, because you're very unique. Um, so if, let's say, 80% of people enjoy one particular thing, that doesn't really matter, because if you're in that other 20%, it makes absolutely no sense to give you advice that you should do what the other 80% are doing. So in terms of stability, it might be useful to think of the macroeconomic or the, the, the broader perspective, let's say. But in terms of your interests uh, and you personally, it makes no sense. So really consider what perspective do you need to look at it when you're thinking of either starting your career or your next move um, and reflect on those points. I hope this has given you some food for thought. Uh, thanks for watching.